<clears throat> All right, welcome to class activity number 13. So today we are going to create a network drive mapping uh, using a login script GPO. So users will be able to write a letter, drive letter, and that will map them to a folder that's on the server. Well, that's a great thing to do, right? So let's try that. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to on the boot up the domain controller. Okay. And let's go to file explorer. And then uh, let's go to C drive. And we need to create a folder first. So let's create a folder. And we're going to call that folder um, <clears throat> NTW care um, share. NTW care share. All right. So let is, let's go and right click on it, go to properties, and we go to sharing, advanced sharing, click on share this folder, okay, good, click on permission, you see that only everyone has, only the read only, you know what, what we're going to do is, if you click right here, and, and if you go to the engineering, XYZ engineering, if you go to the testing um, organizational unit, you see, if you remember, we created a managers group. And if you double click on managers and click on members, you see that you have Jane Doe and Mike Smith and members of the managers group, which are located in the testing um, organizational unit, which is located under the XYZ engineering. So we're going to create the GPO and link it to the testing organizational unit so that Jane Doe and Mike Smith will be able to map that drive. Okay, so we're going to do it a little bit differently than always just do it to the users. Okay, so we're going to link it to a group where that group is located. We're going to link it to an organizational unit to a group. So all these users will be able We'll have will take effect. Uh, we'll be able to um, map the drive. Okay, so take a picture of this. Verify that you have the managers group and uh, the members of it are Jane Doe and Mike Smith. If not, create them under the testing environment and then take a picture and put it in the bottom of the lab. All right, so once we verify that, we go back to the file explorer properties right here. I can minimize this. So <clears throat> we're going to add, and we're going to write M-A-N, managers, look for all managers, and we see the managers group. We're going to click OK, and since it's highlighted, I'm going to give them full control to this folder. So they have full control of the managers group. Everyone has only the read-only. The managers will have full control. Take a picture of that and put it at the bottom of the lab. Click apply, click OK. And do not forget. OK, after you click apply and you click OK, don't forget to copy the network path right here. So let's copy that. And then click close. All right, so we have the network share that's been created. Now we're going to create a batch file. All right. So in here, we are going to type, uh, we need to launch Notepad. Okay, this thing is, okay, we're going to open up Notepad. All right, in Notepad, the command that's going to do mapping is really, the command is the same as the command prompt, net, uh, net use, space. We're going to use the letter M as the map, colon, backslash, and paste. Make sure you put it, paste the path that you did. That's it. That's the only command you need. It's going to be, we're going to save this as a patch file. So you go to file, save as, 
All right, the first thing you want to do is change the, the type to all files. And then you can name it, let's name it map.bat. BAT makes it a batch file. That means you, when it's as soon as you execute it, all the commands in it will be executed automatically. All right, and we are going to save it in the share folder. Right? So we are going to save that. Where is it? Network share. NTW care. Can you create the NTW care? Not there yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. There it is. So we double click on that. And we click on save. All right, close that. Let's open up and make sure that it's in there. And there is the map. And you should have little gears in there that shows that it's a batch file. All right? Excellent. All right, so we created the batch file and it's ready to go. If you go in and <clears throat> if you open up the C drive right here, okay, my, my PC. Okay, here's your E drive. Now, there is no C drive, right? I mean, there is no M drive. So to, to see if it runs, you go to the C drive. And let's just double, double check and make sure this batch file works. I double click on it. And if I go to my PC, I see the network share that's been created. See the letter M. And this is the location of it. <clears throat> All right. So uh, take a picture of this and put it in the bottom of the lab to show that the mapping works. Now we just have to make it into a GPO so it will automatically be created. First thing you need to do is disconnect it first. So let's right click and let's go to disconnect. All right, good. So we have a batch file ready to go and it's been tested. So now let's go and create the GPO. All right, open up the group policy management so let's go and under group policy objects you guys should be familiar with this already how to get here right click and let's create a new one and uh what are we going to call this one we're going to call it um uh, network drive script network drive script GPO. All right. Click OK. All right. Let's edit this network drive GPO. Right click. Click on edit. All right. And this is going to be a user configuration, right? Because when users log in, they're going to be mapped to that drive. So under user configuration, click on policies. Just expand this a little bit. Um, Windows settings. And there is your logon and log off. So under the logon script, okay, this is important. So the first thing you're going to do, click on show files. All right, and there is no script in the files in here, see, and the logon. So we need to copy the one from the network share map and put it in here. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to File Explorer. And... Um, And I'm going to go to C drive, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go to network share and right click, copy. And I am going to come back here where the logon is, where the show file is and paste it here. Okay, there you go. It has to be here. Is that clear? So you need to copy it from the network share file into here. All right, so once it's copied, 
Um, let me make sure we're all good. Okay, good. We can close that. And oh, I, so you have to click on add. So let's find out where the script name is. If you click on browse, now you find it, you see, and the logon. So let me just uh, make sure you're not confused. So after you copied it into the logon folder, you now if you show files, there's it's in there, right? So let me close that. If you go to add, and you say, hey, I want a, I want a patch file. And you grab it from the logon, right? You don't grab it, but you don't look for it anywhere else. So it should be here. So you click on it. Click open. Uh, there's no par additional parameters we're going to do. So um, click OK. And click apply. Right? Take a snapshot of this. And show that it's been in there with this showing words right and click on okay all right and that's it so when they log on that map dot bat will automatically be executed all right so close that now we are going to link this file link this gpo to the to what uh the end you go to the engineering the testing ou right because that's where the manager's uh group is so right click on testing link an existing gpo and we go to choose network drive gpo and that's it so now all we have to do is test. So you can close all this stuff. We are going to go to our client server and let's boot this baby up. All right, we are on the client. So let's log in to the client. Uh, Jane Doe has a welcome to password. I'm going to log in with Jane Doe or Mike Smith. It won't matter. Go out, right? Because they're in the same group. All right. So I want to go to the file explorer. Let's see if it took effect. If not, we're going to have to do a GPO. I go to this PC and it did not take effect yet. So I'm going to go in and force the GPO. So I'm going to type CMD. And I'm going to type GP update space run slash force. All right, it's been successfully. I don't think we have to restart the machine. The group policy redirection enable. We don't care about that. Let's see. Yes. I think by just signing in and out would work. If not, we may have to restart the system. So let's just re-log in first and see what happens. Okay. Welcome to. And, uh, okay, it didn't work. Let me find out what the problem is. Yeah, um, so after inv some investigation, it seems that for whatever reason, the group did it not apply when we, um, when we linked the GPO to the testing group. But if you link it to the XYZ users where Jane Doe and Mike Smith is, 
this seemed to work. So if you go back here, go back to the uh, the group policy management, and let's right click on the XYZ users and link an existing group, link the network drive GPO, click OK. All right, so I already have it linked. Okay, if you close that and you go back to the client and you update the um, the GPO, so type CMD. Okay, oops. Oh God, there we go. GP up, so type GP update and force it on slash force. Okay, so the, the policy has been updated successfully. Good, say yes. And let's sign in, uh, it's gonna sign out. And let's sign back in. And I'm gonna log in with Mike Smith. So click right here, use Mike Smith, M Smith instead of James Doe, doesn't really matter. And if, I, if you remember, Mike Smith has a welcome for password. All right. And so that, let's go to the file explorer. And if you go to my PC, this PC right here, you'll see that the network share drive has been map to the letter M. All right? Take a picture of this showing that you have already mapped it. So now Mike has access to the M drive, which is the share folder. He can put whatever he wants in it. So if you double click on that, and there's the map file member, and he can actually create a folder in there, call it whatever he wants to, right? So create a folder called hello. And where's that folder located? If you click on hello, there you go. See, it's on the share and it's on the M drive. All right, take a picture of that as well too. And that's it. That's it for this exercise. All right, we are running into a little of uh, technical difficulty, but so the difficulty was you have to link the GPO to where the users are. For whatever reason, the group didn't work, the group of users, where the users are going to be. All right, I'll see you on the next last activity.